let's let's talk fingers because I used to play with my fingers. I started out playing with my fingers because, like I said, I was heavily influenced by your bass playing and and your records. And uh, I did pretty good for a while, but I we started touring and I st- I we'd have to be like we'd be in a hot tub or a pool and I'd have my hand out of the water, you know, because yeah. of those calluses. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to uh, soften up yeah, your calluses no, and it's I'd have. A pain. Yeah, so uh, let's... I get blood blisters whenever we start practicing again. Mm-hmm. I always have to like practice to a point and then let the blood blisters blisters heal and then go back to it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean that that is very real. And, and when I I started playing upright bass for a while when I was doing tumble down. Oh, that's that's the callus builder. Oh my right god, there, it is insane. And it's so, a different part of your finger that gets it too. It's the side of your it's finger. Yeah, it's a whole different part. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? Like, what else do you do? Like, is that a, an issue for you still at this point in your career, or are you pretty much you know exactly how to how to to get around the this issue with your fingers and calluses. There's, yeah. By now it's very instinctive for me because we did so many, I mean, it's like 30 years plus of doing that. So it's very instinctive, but you know, I, as I've gotten older, like many other people, I've had some tendon issues here and there. Oh, okay. And yeah. so, you know, oddly enough, they seem to mostly apply to the other hand, which is interesting to me. Like yeah. at one point I had to switch to a short scale fender Jaguar because I was getting bad tendonitis from a bunch of other stuff but it was very uncomfortable to play a full scale bass for a little while there. But now I'm back to the full scale, so life's good. Oh, but, good, I mean, good, it, good. It, it, it,